or before they get their license to get involved in the trucking side of business, right? So once you guys get your CDL, having a CDL is a great thing, but if it's not making you any money, what good is it? So there's pretty much two ways you can get your, that you can have a CDL make money for you. Way number one, you can get a J-O-B, so you can get a job. Jobs, you're gonna have three types of work, local, regional, and over the road. Local, you're gonna get paid by the hour, okay? Starting salary is anywhere from 16 to 20 bucks an hour. Regional work, this is where you're gonna be out for a few days at a time, so you're gonna be traveling um, about two, anywhere from two to five days out at a time. Over here, your first year income, if you're coming right out of school, talking in the 30 to $40,000 a year range. Then over the road, this is where you get to travel the whole country. You're out anywhere from two to three weeks at a time. And you come home for a few days. Here, you're gonna get paid by the miles, so you're gonna drive a lot more, so you're gonna make a lot more. Here, you're making anywhere from 45 to 60 K your first year with no experience. Once you guys get some experience, and then you can move on um, to much bigger and higher numbers. Um, what are the pros of this? This, if you're just starting off, you get to go through a training program from a, a separate company, right? So a lot of people are afraid in the beginning, as they should be, this is an 80,000 pound vehicle. With this stuff, now you get to go through a little bit more training, you get to get your feet wet, and you get paid for it with very little responsibility. Pretty much here, your job is to do your job, which is they tell you pick up here, drop off there. You don't have to pay for fuel, you don't have to pay for insurance, you don't have to pay for maintenance, none of that stuff. All that stuff is on the company. So this is what a lot of our students go with right out of school because if they want to do be an owner operator in the future one day, then they can be. Um, but at least they get their feet wet to see exactly what the job entails. So this is the first stage. Second stage is becoming an owner operator. Owner operator. Owner operator. That means that you own your own truck, but you do not have the authority or to run your own loads. Which means John Smith bought this truck, but does not have the work. So John Smith owns the tractor itself in most cases, not the trailer, which means he now has to go find a company to go work for. So you're gonna go work for a carrier. So over here, the benefits are you're gonna have higher pay, but you're also gonna have higher expenses. Higher expenses. What do I mean by that? So instead of getting paid as a normal employee, they're gonna pay you as an independent contractor, which means it's gonna be a higher cut, but now fuel's coming out of your pocket, insurance is coming out of your pocket, repairs and maintenance are coming out of your pocket. So you control everything. So technically you're in business for yourself, but not by yourself. So that means you don't have the responsibility of finding the loads. It's pretty much the carrier that you sign up with. This is something that, this is usually the second stage that people get into. Um, so over here, you do get higher pay, but uh, you do have all the expenses, and the carrier that you're working under is going to take a cut off the top. An example here, say you get a load that's for $1,000. If the carrier is paying you $1,000 for this load, whatever it is, they probably got it for $1,200. Okay? So there's anywhere from, on a percentage basis, anywhere from 5 to 10%, in this case it's about 20%, say they're getting paid 1100 5 to 10% that they're keeping, just for giving you the work, okay? So if you want to make that extra spread, then you're doing the third and final step, step number three, and that's become a carrier, okay? Carriers, they have the authority to find the loads and uh, transport the loads, but they have either owner operators working for them or drivers working for them okay so both owner operators and drivers work for carriers now can you be a one person owner operator carrier yes so just because you're an owner operator you can be your own carrier and you're a one man show and that's the way that we set it up here all right so we have two options oh, all three options are available for our students 
We have lifetime job placement, so that means we can help you find any kind of job here. And again, these are just starting salaries. From there, you're going to move forward. Second option, we can sell you a truck. And if you want to go work under a buddy or something like that, you can do that. We'll just sell you the truck and that's it. The third option is the most profitable option. That's where we turn you into an, a one-person carrier, a one-person company. So we'll sell you the truck and then we'll guarantee you five years worth of work from Jersey to Ohio and back. Okay? So that's what we're going to talk about today. Jersey to Ohio? Jersey to Ohio and back. That's the route that we specify in. Oh, okay. Okay? Any questions on this stuff so far? Okay, so say, say I'm buying a truck, right? Mm -hmm. I got my CDL. Say I get my CDL to buy the truck. But I ain't really big on driving the truck. Okay, so you become a carrier. So I become a carrier. And you hire a driver. And I hire a driver. This would be a regional route, the one that I'm about to show you right now. Okay. That means you'd be paying a driver depending on what kind of experience you have. In this price range, or a little bit higher if you want somebody with some experience, which is what I would recommend if you're a first-time guy. So let's talk about how to make over $100,000 a year with a truck. So how our program works. You're going to purchase a truck from us. Um, and then our truck also comes with a five-year work contract. The truck, part, the truck prices that we currently have are anywhere from thirty dollars to $40,000. Truck price. A brand new truck is anywhere from $100,000 to $120,000. These trucks are anywhere from two to four years old. Okay, They're still usually under warranty. They usually still have low miles. Now when it comes to mileage on a truck, which you should understand, 100,000 miles on a car is like 1 million miles on a truck. Okay, it's the same thing. Car, truck. So if you get a truck that has 400,000 miles, that's like getting a car with 40,000 miles. So that's a comparison. Understood? Good. So our trucks are anywhere from the 300,000 mile, 300, mile range to the 500,000 mile range. That's the trucks that we have. And they, we usually like to keep them in this price range from 30 to 40,000, depending on which truck that you pick. Okay. Now, there's two ways you can purchase a truck. You can either purchase it in full or you can finance it. If you go through financing, we'll help you out with bank financing. Banks, especially if it's your first time business, they want anywhere from ten to fifteen thousand dollars down to get started. Okay? So ten to fifteen thousand dollars down would be the start to purchase the truck, not the trailer. Trailers itself, they'll cost anywhere from anywhere from on low end about six thousand, on a high end about twenty thousand. But you can get a, a pretty nice trailer for eight to ten thousand dollars, no problem. The trailer is just a box with wheels. The trailer that we use for this route in particular is this exact trailer, which is called a dry van. Dry van, which means it's just a box. Uh, there's stuff that's called reefer, which means that's transporting food, refrigerated trailers. There's flatbed, so that's just the bottom, it has no sides, no top, nothing like that, right? So over here, the most common is just what we call a dry van trailer, all right? Okay, so that being said, um, let's go into the actual money side of things. So, the route itself is going to be from New Jersey to Ohio, and Ohio to New Jersey. Okay, the trip information. This trip. It's going to be eight hours each way, about 430 miles. All right. So full round trip would be 16 hours and uh, about 900 miles. Okay. So let's talk about the how much money you guys can make with this thing. On the New Jersey to Ohio route, what we are transporting is garbage. Now, if you're living in this area, New Jersey, New York area. It's very hard to be a truck driver making money going out of this area because we don't make anything anymore, right? We just consume everything. So unless you're going to work for the port where a lot of stuff comes into the port, that's good. You'll make money, but that's only making money one way because once you deliver it, you got to bring the empty container back, All right? So with this route, one thing that we have in abundance that's never going to die is garbage. So Jersey and New York buy everything. What happens when we buy it? We use it and it turns into? Garbage. garbage so we ship it out to Ohio 
So the New Jersey to Ohio route of garbage will pay you six fifty on average. Okay, six hundred fifty bucks for that trip. The Ohio to Jersey route, that's where you're transporting general freight because there's a lot of manufacturing in Ohio. So in Jersey, we're going to transport to a landfill in Ohio. Ohio, we're then going to you're going to dump your uh, load of garbage, and it's not like food garbage; it's like uh, recycled papers and plastics that they can't recycle. So it's nothing crazy. Um, so all you do is you empty out your load. The way they're going to empty out the load is you're going to back into what they call a tipper. It's a platform. The platform's going to rise like this. And everything's just going to slide out the back. All right, and then it's going to drop back down, and then you drive off. All you need to do, you don't have to touch anything. With a broom, sometimes you just have to sweep off the the rest that's left. Okay, that's pretty much it. It's a dry product, so it's thing is just lifting up the the trailer. The trailer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it secures the trailer down. You unhook, and it goes. Oh, okay, okay. Yep. So the Ohio to Jersey route, that's your money maker because that's when you're transporting actual goods back to this area. Okay. Depending on what you're transporting and how much you're transporting, this will pay you anywhere from eleven $1 hundred to eighteen hundred dollars. Okay. What's the difference? Again, if you're transporting something that's more expensive, it's gonna they're gonna charge you can charge more to transport. Or if you're going up to New York and Brooklyn and stuff like that, that's when you go into this higher end range. Now the only downside with that is you're gonna pay the tolls going in. At the end of the day, it is much it is still more profitable to go there, but not everybody can deal with the tight streets and the hassle and the traffic. So some people would rather just stay local in New Jersey area. Okay. So the number that we're going to use is 1250. So we're going to stay a little bit on the lower end just to be safe. Okay, that's about average. So uh, when it comes to your weekly gross, gross means your income, right? Your weekly income, total income that's coming in. An average driver can do two and a half trips per week. Okay, so one full trip, if we go 650, Plus 1250, that's going to give us what? Got my calculator here. 650 plus 1250, that's going to equal 1900. So $1,900 for one full round trip. That's going to be two days. Eight hours there, sleep there, eight hours back. Okay? An average person can do. Uh, Average driver is two and a half trips per week. So that means week one you'll do three trips, week two you'll do two trips. Okay. okay. A really good driver, above average driver, will do three. But we're just going to keep it average and conservative. So two, 1900 times 2.5, talking about your weekly gross income of $4,750. That's going to be your weekly gross. Weekly income. Okay. So that's not the money that you're taking home, that's the money that you're making. Okay. Now let's talk about your expenses. There's really four main expenses when it comes to this stuff. Expenses will be in red. So we're going to do weekly expense. We're going to have a truck payment. If you finance it, right? If you bought it in cash, you don't have this. You're going to have um, insurance. You're going to have fuel. You're going to have maintenance. Okay? Truck payment. We have no idea what your truck payment is going to be, so we're going to come up with a crazy number of $500 per week. Now, it's definitely not going to be $500 per week because that comes out to $2,000 a month. That's a mortgage payment, that's not a truck payment. Right. right? This is going to be a $40,000 truck at the most. Ain't going to be $2,000 a month for a $40,000 truck. Make sense? But we're going to say it, worst case scenario. Insurance. Insurance is about $300 per week on average. Okay? It comes out to anywhere from $15,000 to $20,000 a year, depending on the experience of the driver. Okay? Fuel. So we're going to calculate fuel. How are we going to do that? We're going to first figure out how many how many total miles a week we're going to be doing. So one round trip, round trip. So this times two is going to be eight sixty, right? 
we're going to add an extra 40 miles because sometimes you got to transport. So from landfill, you got to drive some miles to go pick up your load, right? Okay. So we're going to say about 900 miles for a round trip. Equals 900. Yes? Yeah. Good. I'll brood it over here so you guys can see it better. Round trip is 900 miles. Now, how many trips are we doing a week? 2.5, right? So 900 times 2.5 is going to give us how many miles per week? 900 times 2.5, talking about 2,250. 2,250 miles per week. Okay. Now, an an average truck does about nine miles per gallon, anywhere from eight, anywhere from seven to nine miles per gallon. We're going to say this truck does six miles per gallon. Okay. Worst case scenario again. So at six miles per gallon, at six mpg, um, we've got to see how many gallons we're going to go through. So over here, we would go 2,250 divided by six. That's 300 and 375 gallons. Equals 375 gallons. Okay. Now that times the price of fuel. Price of fuel right now is probably a little bit under three bucks. We're gonna over exaggerate. We're gonna say it's three, say it's three twenty-five. Okay, for diesel. All right. Again, everything's over exaggerated. Just worst case scenario. Three seventy-five times three point two five. Talking about at the end of the week, your fuel is gonna cost you one thousand two hundred. And eighteen dollars, so round that up to one thousand two hundred and fifty. Again, worst case scenario. Yes. Maintenance costs. Now, maintenance. This is money that you guys should keep to the side, just in case something bad happens. That's not money that's going to be spent every week because you shouldn't blow a tire every week. But you're definitely gonna, something bad is going to happen eventually, right? So, what the industry average says, you should keep seventeen cents per mile. So, point seventeen cents per mile should be kept to the side just in case something bad happens. Okay? So if we're doing 2250 times 0.17, you're talking about 382.5. So we're going to round that up to 400 bucks a week that we should keep on the side. Now this is money that you should put the, away to the side. Don't party with it because when the engine goes, you want the money to, to pay for it, right? And at the end of the year, if nothing happens because you did your pre-trip every day and you did your air brake inspection every day and you caught the problems when they were small, not when they were big, then you, this is extra gravy money on top. Make sense? Because at the end of the year, nothing bad happened because you did the job that you're supposed to do. This is just a bonus for you. So. Let's say worst case scenario, so we've got 500 plus 300 plus 1250 plus 400. That's going to equal your weekly expenses come out to 2450. Okay? So let's do the math on that. You're going to have your income. Is four thousand seven hundred and fifty. Your expense is going to be two thousand four hundred and fifty. That leaves you with profit of minus four seven five zero twenty three hundred. So your weekly profit twenty three hundred. Now this, of course, is if you're working for yourself, driving for yourself. So that was, that was my question. I was going to ask you. Paying somebody. Paying somebody. You subtract whatever you're paying them. Say a thousand dollars. Yeah. Average, right? yeah. Anywhere from a, for this route, anywhere from depending on your experience. If you want a real experienced guy, you're talking about twelve hundred a week. So making eleven hundred bucks. If you're gonna have somebody else work for you. That's decent. Sit at the crib. Yeah. That's one truck. Because if you're if you're not the one driving and you got the cash to purchase more trucks, then you can grow it as big as you want. Oh man, oh man, oh man. 
right? Um, this is the most consistent route all year round. There might be guys that are saying, hey, I'm making a lot of money going out of Florida and picking up watermelons, but what happens when the watermelons go away? Now you gotta go find something else, right? Uh, and they'll be jumping around all over the country. Can you jump around all over the country and make a little bit more money? Yeah, I'm sure. But to make consistent money all year round, this is the best way that we found to do it. The simplest way. Okay, so going back to what you can make at the end of the year. So we, we already calculated 2300 per week in profit times 50 weeks because you guys want two weeks off, right, for holidays and all that stuff. So 50 weeks comes out to $115,000 per year in, in, in profit. Now, the other thing that we have to discuss is, say you purchase a truck outright in cash, right? So that means you're not going to have this $500,000 uh, $500 per week, which comes out to $2,000 a month. Or say when the truck is paid off, that means that this is extra money coming into your guys' pocket. Like, so the $500 a week is $2,000 a month, $24,000 a year of pure profit. So that times $24,000 a year of pure profit. You do that plus $24,000 per year. Are you driving a truck? Home every other night, by the way. So you're not going to be out away from the house too long. So, that's it. You're, you're going to be pretty much, if on this kind of schedule, you leave on a Sunday afternoon and you'll do three round trips by Friday afternoon. And then your, your next week, you'll leave Monday and you'll do two full round trips by that Friday. All right? So that's how we kind of came out to the 2.5 trips per week. Now, if you have a really good guy and there's ways that we can help you get even bigger if you want, where we will put uh, two guys in one truck, the truck starts running 24 hours a day. And if you want to stay local and your work is just to get them to work, get them the loads and organize them, you do all the local deliveries. So that means you have a yard here. You have a CDL yourself. We have two guys that truck once 24 hours a day. We have uh, two sets of trailers. All they do is they pick up from Jersey, drop off in, o in Ohio, come on back, drop off their trailer. They don't have to unload or anything like that. That's your job in the next day to go deliver that local load. So now that truck can now, instead of doing two and a half trips per week, they can do four trips per week, five trips per week. Correct. Oh, that's all part of this stuff. Okay, all right. That's all part of this. But now you have two guys in one truck instead of purchasing a whole nother truck and having double the insurance, double the fuel, double the maintenance, double the truck. It's the same, same expense but now more revenue because that truck's running more time legally. Make sense? So that's how you can make over $100,000 a year with a CDL license.